Howdy, and welcome to the Bitterroot College Fab Lab. So the Fab Lab is all about making things here. So the idea is if you want to work with steel, titanium, you want to work with plastics, woods, ceramics, glass, whatever it is that you're trying to build or make, we want to empower people to be able to make whatever the thing is that they want to make. We have people come in here and they make 3D printed instruments like cellos, violins, guitars, or even laser cut guitars like this one right here. So all this is made from a $20 piece, or uh, about $20 worth of stuff, and the cheapest Ace Hardware plywood. And even though it looks like kind of chintzy, the sound on it is really good. And if I mix this into like an album or something, you probably would just think it's a regular guitar. And we made this on our laser cutter here. So we have an industrial sewing machine here. So you can sew through plastics and Velcro and webbing. You could make a heavy duty backpack on this, or you could make yourself a tuxedo, or uh, make yourself some masks for the uh, COVID-19 epidemic, which we also do here. Right now, using our vacuum former, we've been working on making these different masks uh, that have like a little silicone insert here, and these cartridges, which we'll later clip on to this section of the mask. The vacuum former pulls this little buck right here and actually makes these different masks that we have somewhere here. Where's the other one? There it is. So a sheet of plastic like this gets conformed around this. So this machine right here will pull this piece of plastic so that we end up with this, which will become a wearable mask that has a really tight seal. These masks are really tough, and they can be autoclaved and subject to high temperatures to sterilize them. Now, other things that we do at the lab here is we also do a lot of mold making. So we work with different types of plastics that we can use. And we have silicone that we can actually cast and make parts for these masks or other things as well. Uh, so we can actually make the seals that fit on these masks using this silicone that we cast here inside of something that we actually 3D printed. So these are our 3D printers here. And you can see that it's building up layer by layer each part of the print that it's actually making. So it works just like a regular printer does. It prints a picture in plastic, and then it moves up a step, prints a picture in plastic, moves up a step, and keeps repeating that process until the whole thing gets built up. You can make all kinds of different things for it. Of course, we've made little bucks and stuff for our masks that we print here. So we can make all sorts of different things. This is a neck for one of the guitars that we build here. This is a chin rest and a bass for one of the violins that we make. Uh, for people that are into cosplay and stuff like that, these are some little calipers that we made so we can accurately measure different parts of your head so we can make you a helmet. This is a bicycle uh, gear, so this actually hooks to electric motors, which allow you to uh, make your bike move at maybe 30 miles an hour. And even though this is a plastic gear, it's actually really tough, and it'll serve you for maybe thousands of miles before it actually ever breaks, and then you could always print a new one. Uh, so we have hard plastics that we can print in, but we also have stuff like this TPU, which is pretty close to indestructible. I've literally run this over with a car before uh, about like 10 times, and it always just springs back into shape again. Now what we made for you guys here are these little fidget twisters. So they're kind of a fun little toy to sort of play with. So at first, you have to kind of break them in a little bit because they've just come off the printer, and they're a little bit rough. But as soon as you have them, then... They're kind of fun to play with. So, hours of mindless fun. And they're stackable. Lots of other little cool things to 3D print. And here you can see that this one was printed faster, so you see the layer lines a little bit more. So you lose quality when you print fast. But if you take your time a little bit more, then you can get way more intricate detail with thinner layer lines. 
We also have other printers. We have these resin printers here as well, um, which we can use to make small pieces like these that get a really, really high level of detail. This is actually from a museum. It's a scan of one of our ancestors. Or we can make really hard to print shapes like these, which have all these weird little crevices inside of them. How do SLA printers work? OK, so how do these SLA printers work? The way that these work is there's actually a laser inside of here that shoots this little tub of goop that's inside of here. Uh, that goop comes in these little containers in different types. Some are flexible and some are hard, some are in between. This stuff gets poured into this little container right here. A laser shoots this, and then the whole thing moves up a step as it's getting lasered and moves up a step and moves up a step. So it's kind of like printing a picture into that goop as it hardens, and then it just does another layer and builds it layer by layer until you have the whole thing, and then it kind of comes up out of here. So we also make different molds here. These are actually of Legos, and we can actually make chocolate or gummy Legos. And the accuracy of these molds is actually good enough that when you stack the gummy candies together, they will actually lock like little Lego bricks, and you can eat them. And this is all food-safe silicone, and you can wash it. You can even like put it in the oven up to a pretty high temperature. So like I said, we do a lot of stuff with movie props here. So kind of lasered up this nice little box right here. And we made an exact replica of Tony Stark's arc reactor from Endgame. It's a one-to-one -one scale replica. And you can actually go on Thingiverse, and you can actually 3D print one of these yourself. So we spent hours and hours getting all the detail just right on this. And we actually made this outer casing out of that TPU plastic. And in the video that we have for the construction for this, we actually do run it over with a car about 10 times, and it just springs back into shape. So this stuff's pretty tough. And then we have a nice little LED panel. We do a lot of stuff with electronics here. We build robots. We have drones. Um, we do all kinds of stuff with little LED lights. So there's drones over there. Yep, so we've got our whole like wall of drones. We've had quite a few different ones donated to us. And we have people that come and do a lot of drone racing and stuff like that. And uh, people that shoot for real estate. And we offer classes on that stuff here, too. else we got anything we've even developed some of our own 3d printed instruments this is a prototype Viotar so the idea is it's a combination guitar and violin that you'd play so it has a chin rest that clips on here so that you can bow it and play it but as a guitarist you don't have to learn any like exact finger positions because you already know them because it's laid out exactly like a guitar so you can play it like a normal guitar or violin and then you see this little tube coming out of here. This is set up so that you can actually shoot fire out of this thing as well. And it even has a little slot for adding LEDs so that every time you play a note, the whole thing will light up. So we also build our own electric vehicle systems here. So this is an electric skateboard that we have. So oh, we wire up all our own little electronics in here, and your batteries go in this little compartment. This small little motor right here is capable of pushing someone that weighs about 300 pounds a good 30 miles an hour or faster. And we can use these same motors on bicycles as well. So you can get yourself a membership here so that you can actually 3D print stuff yourself or even learn to CNC something out of something like metal. Um, you can also use our laser cutter to make all sorts of different things. And our memberships basically cost what it costs you to have a Netflix subscription. So you can come in here, you can take classes to get certified on the machines, and then you can come in here on your own time and build stuff, whatever it is that you got on your mind that you can actually make. Thanks for making such interesting and cool things to be cut out on the laser cutter. Uh, the rest of the video is some time lapses of each class's projects. Uh, it's about each one of them is about an hour long and it's compressed down into a little 30 second time lapse uh, see if you can see yours being engraved which is what's happening right now there and then being cut out and that's when the laser slows down and it kind of cuts each one of those little rectangles out into wood I hope you enjoy them if you did not make one of your own then I created one for you of my own design with an astronaut saying happy summer 
and I wish you all a happy summer, and I hope to see you again at your schools. Take care, and keep on making fun stuff.